Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Thursday, September 18th, 2014. This is Texan TV News from Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas, and I am Rebecca Gilligan. In the current investigation on Vice President for Student Life, Rusty Jurgens, is not related to the recent investigation concerning Jurgens' ethics violation last March. Stephen Moore, the Vice Chancellor of Marketing and Communications for the Texas A&M University System, told Texan News that the initial investigation has been completed. The investigation last year was completed, but the results are not available as a public document per the OAG, he said in an email. The current investigation is indeed separate from last year's. Jurgens has been placed on administrative leave for unknown reasons. President Dominic Devoto said that he does not know when Jurgens will be back. There's nothing more that I know than was written in the paper, he told Texan News. It is being investigated by the Texas A&M University System. Student body president Jay Johnson said he is in the dark concerning the investigation. I was kind of caught off guard by it, he said. Everybody was caught off guard. Jurgens was investigated by the university system last spring for inviting Tarleton transition mentors to help him with his campaign signs while they were at his house for a university sanctioned dinner. In international news, the Associated Press reports that the foreign minister of Iran has decided not to cooperate with the U.S. in fighting against Islamic State militant in Iraq. Warnings have been issued that the terrorist group could be a much larger global threat that needs new thinking to eradicate. Yesterday, Mohammad Javad Zarif said that the Iran has serious doubts when it comes to the willingness and ability of the U.S. to react seriously to the menace from the Islamic State group across the board not just deciding where to confront it as they have started doing in Iraq. The U.S. said no when France requested Iran to attend a conference on how to bring down the Islamic radicals in Iraq on Monday. Zarif called the 24 participating nations that were at the conference a coalition of repenters since most have supported the Islamic State group for more than several years. In national news, authorities in South Carolina reported yesterday that Father Timothy Ray Jones Jr. killed his five children at his home in Lexington. The children were last seen on August 28th being picked up by their father from school and daycare. According to an arrest warrant released yesterday, Jones said that his kids were going to kill him, chop him up, and feed him to the dogs. Authorities said Jones killed them, put their bodies in trash bags, and drove for nine days around the southeast. He dumped the bodies on a remote hillside near Camden, Alabama. The warrant stated that authorities found blood in his vehicle and handwritten notes about killing and mutilating the bodies after he was stopped at a DUI checkpoint in Mississippi on September 6. Jones is being charged with unlawful neglect of a child and also faces five accounts of murder. Jones' attorney said he has been treated for mental illness in the past and they want a mental evaluation conducted on him as soon as possible. Yesterday, Governor Rick Perry invited Mexico's President Enrique Nieto to come to Texas. Nieto said that it was unpleasant and of Perry to deploy National Guard troops to the border. Perry responded that Mexico is not doing enough to control immigration along the Central American border or to control drug, drug cartels. Perry said when it comes to the safety and security of Texans, he will not be dissuaded by rhetoric. He said that the challenges along the border today are a consequence of the Mexican government failing to secure it. The number of immigrants crossing the border has slowed recently, but Texas still needs National Guard troops to stop drug trafficking. Perry also said in the letter to Nieto that those obeying the law have nothing to fear from our increased law enforcement presence. The president of Mexico's office has made no comment yet. Drought continues to wreak havoc in the cross timbers the Mineral Wells Index report that the City Council agreed this week to impose amended Stage 3 water restrictions. The water restrictions will prohibit all outdoor water use for residential and commercial customers, including rural water districts. Mayor Mike Allen said that the Council is completely behind this when the recommendation was brought up by City Manager Lance Howerton. The restrictions will go into effect on October 1st. A notice was placed in water bills mailed out earlier this month and placed on the city website. The only variances to the restrictions will be for livestock and previous construction projects, like Lamar Elementary School. Amended Stage 3 water restrictions will include irrigation or watering lawns, watering any plant life, along with restriction to non-commercial vehicles, draining or filling swimming pools and water fountains. 
New construction projects will use treated wastewater. Enforcement of required landscaping will be suspended until restrictions are lifted. In campus news, Tarleton's own Texas Social Media Research Institute is hosting its fourth annual social media conference set for November 7th. Registration has already begun with tickets for students at $15 and faculty and staff at $30. The conference will be held at Tarleton Southwest Metroplex Center in Fort Worth, providing attendees with 26 informational sessions that range from the practical application of social media to scholarly research. Upon sign-in at 8.30 a.m., you will receive a complimentary social media swag bag, a free t-shirt, breakfast and lunch, and happy hour dessert will be provided throughout the day. To guarantee your spot, you can visit www.txsocialmedia.org and register before November 5th. And in today's weather, brought to you by the Weather Channel, we are expected to have a high of 84 with an 80% chance of scattered thunderstorms during most of the morning until this afternoon. Tomorrow has a high of 86 degrees with variable clouds and scattered showers and thunderstorms, mainly in the afternoon. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Tune in to Northland Cable Channel 9 on weekdays at 1230 for each day's top stories and Wednesdays at 1 for the week's top stories in Spanish. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news, as well as all of your entertainment and sports updates, and the live stream of Texan TV News. Today's broadcast was produced by Haley Thompson, Misty Shorter, and Morgan Little. I am Rebecca Gilligan. Have a wonderful day, Tarleton Texans.